ambao ambao watu Up next is entertainment news by Sylvia Happy Anna. And educated politics. So day before this honor, I will perform against I shall prosper. We are anointed and appointed to walk as a winner. Whoa. Hello, Sylvia. Hi, Edna. You're welcome. Thank you. What do you have for us for entertainment today? Oh, <laughs> I have a Nigerian actor with us today. I'll be granting him some interview. Hello, viewers. Welcome to Entertainment and Lifestyle on Today Ghana News TV. Today, we have a special guest joining us from Lagos, Nigeria. But before I introduce him, let's watch some of his work. You have to fight. Fight like a man. Fight for your right. You have to be strong. Hmm? Yes. For a man to step into the lion's den, <laughs> that means he is so full of himself. Baba, I will cross them. Yes. I will tell them that Sugede is the task of this. Yes. Tell them. Hmm? Baba, crush them. Yes. 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 Oh, Shimili! <laughs> oh, Shimili! You are so anxious to me, Sia. The rock stands in the water, does not see anything. It does not see anything, hot or cool. The water cannot wash it away. You are fortified. You are fortified. You are fortified. You are fortified. <laughs> oh, Shimili! Do! Do! Ha 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 No human born of a woman can hurt you. You are fortified. I say go. I say go! He that pursues a chicken shall fall. Shall fall. For your sake. I said go. Oh, Shimile is happy with you. joined by Maisie Khalifa, who happens to be an actor, a scriptwriter, and a film producer. Good evening, Khalifa. We are happy to have you join Good us this evening. Thank you so much, and I'm happy to join you. Okay. Thank you so much. Please, can you briefly tell us about yourself? Um, my name is uh, Mazi Khalifa, and I hail from Nigeria, and um, I'm a film producer and also a movie director, and I've been writing movie scripts also, so I do a lot of films here in Nigeria as well. Okay, so how did you get into the movie industry? Um, um, uh, it's nice, yo. <laughs> film, film things, yeah. 
Nigeria in Nigeria is um is quite complicated, you know. So I became an actor when I was in secondary school back then. Secondary school, I used to do stage drama, you know. So after that, I had to travel to Ghana, to University of Ghana, to study linguistics and communication. So I had to come back wow. to Nigeria, and that was how I, I pursued my acting career in Nigeria. Wow. Um, Omo yeah. is in the building. <laughs> um, uh, the team of you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, Khalifa. Yeah. How challenging is it? Yeah. How challenging is it combining acting, script writing, and also film production? How are you able to combine all this? What are the challenges you face um, in combining all these things? Challenging there, Mo. Challenging, big challenging is there. Because, you know, writing scripts and producing at the same time. Oh, Mo, hey! Wahala the inside. Because as a producer, you have to be creative. And also as a script writer, you still have to be creative. You'll be combining both producing and acting and then making sure that your actors and your crew members are on standby. And then writing of scripts is creative, you know, trying to write different characters and putting them together and make it a film. Ah, Sylvia. Ah, wahala the inside though. Wow, wow, I do. Yes. What? What are some important attributes of a producer? Um, the important attribute of a producer is creativity, focus, and um, giving it a mindset. As a producer, if you are creative and if you know what you are doing. If you are understanding and if you are very sincere to your artist, I think a good producer will make us a good movies. Because you know, sometimes in Nigeria we have we make different films. Every we have different type of producers and everybody with their different thinking and their different mindset. But here in Nigeria, we we the producers in Nigeria have our own way of making our own films and making it stand. So the ability of a producer depends on your creativity and your mindset. That is it. You understand? So okay. it depends yes. on your creativity and your mindset. Yeah. Okay. So everything is about mindset. And creativity. That is if it's a bit at film. Yeah, if it's a bit at film, if you know Sabi, nothing day for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? Hollywood. Direct to Hollywood. Hey, wow, amen. Like I say amen to that. It will come up. Amen. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. we are going to California, Hollywood, straight ahead. You and I, I will take you there. Don't worry. Niger, we die amen. here. Amen, amen. <laughs> you know, I believe you now. I believe you now. You're uh -uh. my brother. <laughs> you, you know everything now. You know everything as you live now. <laughs> so we go to Hollywood <laughs> in five years' time. Okay. So what yeah. are some of the... What are some of the movies and personalities that you produced yourself? Um, I have done a lot of uh, creative movies in time of big, big films, and I've worked in the life. I, I have worked in the life of Majid Michel, Nadia Buhari, and okay. Jackie Akia. So I've done some of movies with them back then in, in Ghana, and here in Nigeria also have done some movies with um in the life of Genevieve Bonaji. Destiny Etuko, Jule Doce, and some of other persons that I've done some creative films with. So the only thing there is just, you know, getting them together. And most of them, you know, they are professionals. So getting them together and giving them a good story and a good set film to shoot. So working with personalities like them are very, very impressive. So I must confess, I really, really appreciate working with them. They are so nice people. Who do you look up to in the industry as a new mentor? Mel Gibson. Oh, 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 he's from Hollywood. Okay. Yes, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. He's the producer of uh, a Hollywood movie titled Apocalypto. And then, secondly, in Nigeria, wow. my second mentor in Nigeria is um, Kule Afolayan. He's the producer of The Rising Sun. 
that man is very, very extraordinary. Kule Afolayan. I he is my mentor. So I love him so much. I'm looking forward to go, you know, his step and to do other things that have to do with him in terms of film. And secondly, I'm also looking forward to work with Sylvia Yang. <laughs> we die here, me and you. <laughs> so <we> come Nigeria. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> We will come Nigeria have by fire by force. <laughs> hey, I'll try. I'll try to come to Nigeria. Don't worry. You see me in Nigeria very soon. Have you heard this other producer? Amen, amen. I'll come there. Don't worry. At the right time. <laughs> have you worked with other producers from other countries? And what was your experience from working with them? Um, I've worked with some producers, some other producers uh, in Ghana, in Cameroon, in Tanzania in uh, Kenya, but the difference there is different uh, mindset. You know, different producers have their own different type of thinking and their own different type of making film. Here in Nigeria, we have our own culture. In time of we like telling stories with our own local English and our own local English. You know, we are bestly known with our pigeon. This is our own more waiting to happen. You know, we like <laughs> making movies in that aspect. And then uh, most of the movies we make is basically on our culture, on, on our pidgin English. That alone tells Nigerian movie. In time of you want to ask somebody, well, more waiting that happen now. I did be waiting that happen, you know. So you we make movies. Oh that my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so we make that entice uh, other producers out there. So I have worked with several of them, and I have seen that they have several type of thinking and several type of creativity. But I think I am okay with pattern of Nigerian aspect that we do, you know, we make films, you know, in, in, in the world, we have three, we have three woods, we have Hollywood, we have Bollywood, and we have Nollywood, you understand? Yes. So every other yes. wood, na can't fit, any other person will tell you it's another wood, you know, can't fit, you understand? So <laughs> it's up to you yes. to join the wood you want to join, join Nollywood, Sylvia, join Nollywood. I'll join Nollywood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's life? Does the actor live behind the camera? In reality, are they living the life we see on our screens? Most of them live the life um, they pursue on the screen. Why majority of them lives a fake life? You understand? Majority of them lives a fake life. People think, you know, people, uh, uh, movie pays. Yes, we know, uh, we all know that movie pays a whole lot of money. But most artists in Nigeria, and not just in Nigeria alone, both in Ghana and every other African country, lives a fake life. What you don't have, you feel you have it. Now, looking after the other things, uh, you know, some persons have, they drive expensive cars, living in mansions and all those things. People will think, ah, is it acting that are paying this, this kind of money? They are spending lavishly. Most of them also have um, uh, secret businesses that they are doing. Some of them has boutiques, salons, supermarket that they are handling. And when time of film movie comes, they will go for movie. And why some other of the ladies are doing runs? I shall I mean, that they do. Well, yeah, they do have yeah. to. You understand? So um, they do have to, you know, to take top up. But movie pays. But majority of all those our celebrities are living this life. Trust me, it's fake life. So, but movie pays as well as so. So the only thing okay. is there is as an actress or as an actor, you use your head and know, then know what else. All right. What special thing is the Nigerian movie industry doing that is keeping or sustaining them in business? Whilst our Ghanaian industry is missing out on that. Can you hit a bit on that for us? Um, uh, Ghana, and they miss the pan. Make a problem and speak this in a language. The pan, and they miss the pan. <laughs> because you know, we are here in Nigeria. We we work hard and we put hard work in uh, in our movies. You know, most of our movies, good films in time of Rising of the Sun, we sh we shoot big book, um, big films in time of King of Boys. We shoot big films in time in time of the, the living in bondage. The type of movies Nigerians shoot, Ghanaians are, can never go to the extent of shooting those films. Because if it comes in time of African movies, everybody knows it's Nigeria. 
Ghanaians has a lot to learn in time of movies. When they come and shoot them film now, understand? Um, uh, you pay me money, I will shoot you how to do film. You understand? So, in, in my own prospect aspect, so Ghanaians has a lot to learn in terms of Nigerian films because we shoot good quality cameras, good language, good dressing, good stories. You know, Ghanaians are full of one one story, one one story. When you come to Ghana, they will say, My patrol, I'm far about why. My patrol, your friend will say, ah, I say in Ghana, I know all those languages. Well, for you in Nigeria, all oh, more, we've been Nigerian people, we'll be all oh, more Nigeria, we die here. You understand? So if you ask me, Nigerians uh, make good films and Ghana has a lot to learn. You understand? So okay. that's it. Do you have any suggestions that can contribute to the Ghanaian industry? Rising back into business? Well, um, my suggestion for that is um, you people should love yourself. Make one of love yourself and make one of in unite. Ghanaian movie productions are not in unity. Most of them have pride. Most of them, they, they feel pompons. Once they have small change for their hands, they will begin to do anyhow, they do anyhow, they shine, they shine, do anyhow. If people need Ghanaian film productions need to be in unity. See, in Nigeria, we are very, very organized. We are in, we love ourselves and we support Ghanaian movie people doesn't support themselves. You understand? So Nigerians support themselves, they push themselves, and that's why you see Nigerian films, Nigerian music, and Nigeria, every other thing that has to do with Nigerian entertainment is going higher and higher and higher. So Ghana has a lot to learn. These people need to sit down, Ghanaian movie production need to sit down, be creative. Support yourself, understand yourself, love one another, and then help yourself to grow. And I do they help yourself to grow. Now, what you make when I see there we are on a day. I know they talk about you, Sylvia. I know they're they different. They talk about Ghanaian movie production <laughs> as a whole. Uh huh. What can I tell them soon? I wait till Master Khalifa talk. At them, I have when they come beat me. Okay, I'll, I will tell them. Make no worry. Uh huh. And then tell them. Me then, me then no worry. I will tell them where I will then go study. <laughs> I will tell them. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 before you go uh, before you go what what yeah. what should what should your fans expect from you because today they are really watching you what should they expect Ew. from you do you have any blockbusters coming up for them mommy film day we get blockbuster <laughs> film we won't shoot any no sit down what i tell you what i go shoot what i go invite to come nigeria I ain't be the next thing I go do. That one I bomb. Strictly DX TV. If you come, I go first, you go speak Nigerian English for that film. You go speak Fiji English for that film. So I have uh, like three projects I'm working on and it's going to be a, it's going to be extremely, extremely nice. It's going to be a born and blockbuster movie strictly on Go TV. So if by now, from now to in two weeks time, I think I should be ready to start projecting the film. So my fans should be ready to watch. Made they ready to the watch oh, because as we day as so now film we they do not what they do for our life now film. So I have already told everybody, even my children, I've told them that I'm inviting some artists, some celebrity from Ghana. Her name is Happy Sylvia Anang. You go come Nigeria with that year. Okay. Me, you, with that year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Khalifa. Thank We're going you to so have much. you more on our program. Uh -huh. yes. small e for we, people we, we should be coming more on this platform so that you, 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 you give the message to your fans. I'm sure they will really enjoy come. you today. I'm going to come. I'll be to say when I will even cook rice for this uh, show. Oh, do today. At least now, for don't share rice, give all of us what we will do for the show. If you are not in the middle of the show, you are going to even share. I'll be the next time when I cook rice for this show. More than share rice. More than chop rice. <laughs> 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 all right, greet me, your guy. Right. Uh, say me hi to your guy. Eh? God go bless you now. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Amen. Right. He's blessed. All right. So yeah. Viewers, that was Khalifa Maze. And that will be all for entertainment and light out on Tana News TV. And
educative politics. Today, before this honor, I will perform against I should prosper. We are anointed and appointed to walk as a winner. Whoa. reading some of your Facebook messages from Aisha Frepon. Today, Ghana is simply the best. Thank you, Aisha. Watching from Hamburg, Germany. Okay, thank you. From Ose Superior. Watching from Barcelona, Spain. Thank you, Ose. From Patience Darko, watching you from Hamburg, Germany. Thank you, Patience. From Brim, Brimpon, Bosiako, watching from Warsaw, Poland. I have watched some of, from Enoch of Osumesa, we appreciate your, you coming back with the best in news and information. Thank you, Enoch from Brimpon, watching